long does a dog stay in heat? From about six months old to through the rest of her life, a female dog will experience estrus, or heat, roughly every six months. This is the period of time when she's receptive to mating. Hormonal changes will cause pronounced differences in your dog that will indicate she's in heat, including a swollen vulva, bleeding, more frequent urination and increased nervousness or alertness. She'll also present herself to male dogs by raising her rump and holding her tail off to the side. When does heat start? Dogs can go into heat as young as four months in smaller breeds, but averages about six months old. Some giant breeds may not go into their first heat until they're 18 to 24 months old. It is strongly advised not to breed young female dogs during their first and second cycle. Their eggs are not yet mature and the dog hasn't reached full maturity. If you're planning on breeding your dog, your vet will be able to tell you when the dog is mature enough to be bred. How long is each cycle? Heat usually lasts between two to four weeks. Early in the cycle, a female dog may not be receptive to male dogs, although some are receptive through the entire cycle. It can be shorter or longer and you'll know the cycle is over when all her vulva returns to its normal size and there's no more bleeding or discharge. There's a relatively small window when your dog is most fertile during the heat cycle, it may begin about 9 or 10 days after she goes into heat and lasts about 5 days. However, she can become pregnant until the end of the cycle. Is this a lifetime thing? Once estrus begins, it may take a while for the cycle to become regular. Some dogs can take up to 18 months until their cycle becomes regular. It's a good idea to keep a record during these early days. Once it does, the average is about every six months. Smaller breeds may go into heat more frequently, as often as three to four times a year. Larger dogs, like Irish Wolfhounds, St. Bernards and Great Danes may only go into heat every 12 to 18 months. Unlike humans, female dogs experience estrus throughout their lives, although the time between cycles will get longer. With the exception of breeders of purebreds, most pet owners elect to spay their female dogs before the first heat. Some experts believe this reduces the risk of mammary cancer and other conditions. It also eliminates the possibility of unwanted litters. 9 Things to Know 1. A dog heat cycle only happens once or twice a year. The canine estrus cycle, commonly referred to as the dog heat cycle, occurs every 6 to 12 months. 2. A puppy can go into heat sooner than you think. The earliest that most dogs will experience their first heat cycle is at 6 months of age. 3. Dogs in heat should stay away from intact male dogs for 3 to 4 weeks. This means that dogs in heat should not visit dog parks or do any doggy daycare visits. Anytime a dog is in heat, assume it's going to be at least a month and keep them away from male dogs during that time, says Nancy Kelso, DVM, Medical Director at VCA Columbia Animal Hospital at Hickory Ridge in Columbia, Maryland. Quote dot. 4. Don't think you're in the clear once the bleeding stops. With dogs in heat, each dog heat cycle lasts 3 to 4 weeks, but you will only see bleeding during the first 2 weeks. The fertile period is actually when the bloody discharge starts to subside and it becomes pink or clear and there's much less of it, Dr. Kelso says. Even the swelling of the vulva goes down substantially so a lot of people think the dog is out of heat, but no, that's actually the prime fertile time. 5. The bleeding from dogs in heat isn't as bad as you might think. Fortunately, in most dogs it's not a large amount, it's relatively small. Dr. Kelso explains. Some people will use sanitary diapers for dogs. With some dogs in heat, you won't really notice the bleeding. 6. Don't delay scheduling your dog's spay. Many people don't ever experience dogs in heat since it's best to have your female dog spayed prior to her first heat cycle. If your new rescue dog goes into heat before you can get her spayed, your vet might suggest waiting until she is done before spaying her. 7. Spaying your dog decreases her chances of developing mammary cancer. Mammary cancer is the equivalent of breast cancer in dogs. Check your female pup regularly for lumps in her breast tissue, from her armpit to her groin. If you feel something suspicious, schedule an appointment with your vet. 8. Pyometra is another danger for female dogs who aren't spayed. Pyometra is an infection of the uterus. 
It can be deadly and almost always requires an emergency spay surgery. If the infection is open, meaning the cervix is open, it can be easier for veterinarians to diagnose because there is usually foul-smelling discharge from the vaginal area. Dogs can also have a variety where the cervix is closed, so the pus is actually building up inside the dog and those dogs get really sick. Dr. Kelso says. They don't eat, they don't drink and they run a high fever. If you see any of those symptoms, you should bring her in to a veterinarian. 9. Dogs in heat know when they are in heat and fertile, and when they are not. Dogs know when they're ready to be bred. Dr. Kelso says about dogs in heat. They get a little more flirtatious. Sometimes they might be a little grumpy at the beginning of heat. If a dog tries to mount them or something, they're basically saying, I'm not ready. Now let's see how to care for a female dog in heat. Do not leave your female dog alone outdoors when she is in heat. Male dogs will become aggressive and have been known to dig and jump fences to mate. Keeping your female indoors will help eliminate the fear of unwanted puppies or attacks by neighborhood males. In any case, keeping the female dog pooch inside while she is in warmth can likewise be badly arranged. The release can be muddled as well as very rank. The best alternative is to keep your female inside and limited to a zone where the release won't be an issue to tidy up, for example, a tiled or solid territory in the cellar or carport. Child entryways are a simple method to keep your pooch without putting her behind a shut entryway. On the off chance that you container your female while she is in heat it is imperative to put the case where she will have the option to invest energy with her kin, and furthermore to let her out to work out. You don't need your canine to feel as though she is being rebuffed. Another alternative is to buy what are known as pooch undies, to contain the release and maintain a strategic distance from messes. Your female pooch may show a few forceful practices with different pets in the home while she is in heat. This incorporates a pushy frame of mind, bearing aside different pets, bumping, and essentially endeavoring to overwhelm the others. This is a transitory issue and will die down when she leaves heat. Meanwhile, division from different creatures is one choice, or letting them make sense of it all alone is another. This is nature, creatures convey and show their place in the pack the manner in which nature directs. So if your nice female all of a sudden starts acting like a domineering jerk, different creatures will either acknowledge the brief madness or they will place her in her place. A female pooch in warmth will be effectively upset and may pace anxiously during this time. This isn't abnormal, nor is the crying and gasping. These are only a portion of the side effects of her being in heat, and in the event that she isn't permitted to breed can be extremely disappointing to her and you. On the off chance that you don't plan to breed your canine, it is greatly improved for her well-being and your mental soundness to have her neutered. Capable pet proprietors avoid potential risk to counteract undesirable doggies. Thank you very much for watching this video. We appreciate it from the heart. Would you like to subscribe to our channel? We would appreciate it from the heart.